Hello everybody, welcome to Renexel tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install and use Angenti monitoring tool. It is a open source web based control panel that can be used for large variety of server management tasks. It has built in many pre made plugins for configuration and monitoring the service, such as Apache, Cron, File System, Firewall, and etc. Let me see the installation procedure of Agent I am going to install this on CentOS 6.7. Before installing this Agent package, I am going to enable my EPL repository. So you should download the EPL repository by this following link. I am going to download by using duplicate. So this is for 64-bit architecture and also I will attach for 32-bit configuration also. So after enter this command, hit enter now. Now the package will be downloaded. Now I am going to install this package by using RPM. Now I am going to install the EPL package by using RPM command. So after under this command hit enter. Now the package will be installed. Now I am going to download the Agility package by using duplicate command. After under this command hit enter. Now the package was uh, downloaded successfully now I am going to import this downloaded agility package by using rpm command so uh, enter after enter this after enter this command hit enter now it will be successfully imported to a EPL repository now I am going to install the agility package by using m so press enter after enter this command now press Y to continue. Now the package was installed successfully. After installing package, now I am going to enable the port number 80,000 in firewall by using IP tables command. After enter this command, hit enter now. So it will be successfully added for UDP. Now again same command I am going to enable for TCP. So after enter this command, hit enter. Now the firewall port 8000 8, will be successfully enabled after done the IP table settings. Now restart your IP table service by using service IP table restart. So hit enter now after enter this command. So now your firewall service will be restarted successfully. Now open the browser. Now clear all the browser cache in this browser. So I am going to clear the browser cache. Use the options. So everything will be clear now. Now you enter your IP with uh, HTTPS protocol with the port number 8000. You can use your host name also. After enter this statement, now press enter. The secure page will be open. Now you press advance. Press add expectation. Press confirm security expectation. Now your Agility page will be open here. By default username is root. Password is admin. So after enter your username and password, now press login. Now your Agility page will be open now. So it will be loading. So your, your Agility page will be successfully open now. So first you should do one thing, change your password first because I given default password. So you can go to password option and change your password here. So now I entered new password here. So after done the password, press save option. So now the password was changed successfully. In front page, it shows my machine name and also uptime of the machine, CP usage, and everything will be shown here. Memory and swap. If you want to configure the original means, go to configure menu here. Press the configure menu. So it will be asking about your uh, plugins, license, everything. You can done the settings here. So these are the your plugins which was presented in this agility. So hope on everything 
here you can verify here so here in nginx and uh, apache and many more services there samba also there so these are the available plugins in your agility and another thing is the system settings option here crown is there if you want to create any crown jobs means you can choose this crown menu if you want to view the file system means press the file system option now your available file system will be shown here so this are the your uh, available file system which was mounted and also firewall option is there log is there now next if you want to view the your name server means press name server option here so it will be shows your configured name server here next if you want to see your network configuration means press network option here so it will be shows about your network connections interface connections shown here now next if you want to view your user status means press user option here so it will be shows now available user and the system user groups if you want to add any user and group means press this user and group menu our next option is here the tools will be presented here the file manager notepad here notepad is there you can type and save any documents in this notepad terminal option also available here if you want to access any command line terminal you can press the terminal Now the terminal will be open. Using this terminal, you can use any other commands. So I'm going to use this as config. So the output will be shown like this. This is one of the important advantages in this agility by using this terminal option. And so many features there in this software applications. So in this software application, there is a lot of plugins is there. So example, if you want to configure any Apache means press Apache option here. Now you can choose the Apache configuration here. Same procedure, the DHCP option is there, MySQL is there, and also Samba is there. You can access or configure which is needful for you. So this tool is very important for monitoring your servers. So these are the options available in your agility. It is very lightweight and very easy to use and also installation procedure. Once you completed this settings or configuration, once you complete monitoring your server by using this agility, finally press the logout option to exit this terminal. Now it will be logged out successfully. These are the functions and features which is presented in this agility tool. That's all about this tutorial. Let me see you on another video. Thank you.